course, there is, as we talked about, this initial transient point, this initial radiation zone that, that produces a transient... Um, that is, a, that is a coherent signal. So there is a component that is coherent, and that, that's very important because that's what gives you the localization. So we, you know, when you might say if it was a purely diffuse source and there was no phase relationship between any, any of it, how, how would I get a stereo image? Well, we know if you've got two panels, this initial transient kick that comes out gives you the location, that initial like we saw in your impulse yes. response here. Uh -huh. That gives you, the, gives you the, your ears the cue of this is where the sound's coming from. And we know that all the energy that arrives within a certain amount of time, the, the precedence window, just contributes to that, um, the timbre and the, and, the, and the build up of energy that your brain perceives. Um, so that's what's, that's what's happening with the DML. So you can get a nice stereo image, and because it's not interacting with the room and creating these hot spots and cold spots and interference effects, in some ways the image can be thought of to be a more stable image hmm. because it's not being... Because even with a conventional speaker, you know, if any of those reflections arrive within the, within the precedence window and they're coherently related, that can cause all kinds of auditory confusion sure. um, in a reverberant space.